What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing Nine Tails Decidueye on PTCGO today. Gearing up for our new set, so make sure to look out for tabletop gameplays coming from Team Up. Going to have those out this week. So, stoked to start filming those. But until I get all my proxies up and ready to go, we are going to be playing some Decidueye Nine Tails, and this is a little bit of a crazy list. I am working on it and just trying something new to just get a little spice out here. We are playing Porygon Z in this version of Nine Tails Decidueye. Don't know if it's going to be good, but I've always wanted to play Porygon Z in a deck, right? Because it just devolves all of your opponent's Pokemon and is generally awesome. So I wanted to give it a roll here with this Nine Tails Decidueye Swampert list. And the idea is that Porygon Z, when you evolve it, devolves all of your opponent's Pokemon. So it works like Espeon used to. I also have have a copy of Tapu Koko in here, as you can see. This is honestly an incredible starting hand. We have everything that we could possibly want here. I have the Coco in the active. I have uh, Elm and Cynthia. This is amazing. And we're playing against a Zorark deck, so hopefully we get to try out our Porygon strategy a little bit. Let's see. So I've got Rowlet, I can go get two more Rowlets and a Vulpix. Probably want to get another Rowlet and a Mudkip. That's probably okay. And then next turn, we'll go in with Flying Flip and just, we already have the Nine Tails in our hand. We're ready to roll here. So this is an amazing start. Not even sure if we'll end up having Bench Space in order to play, <laughs> to play our Touch That Fairy Energy. Totally safe doing that. Not sure if we'll have the bench space in order to play our Porygon, but it's a fun option. And I think if my opponent sees uh, Porygon hit the floor, they'll probably want to at least knock it out, right? I mean, so if they waste their Lycanroc in order to bring up Porygon and knock it out, I've got no problems with that. But with this kind of start, I'm feeling extremely confident. Going to go in and flying flip this next turn, spread 20 to everything. I've got the nine tails already geared up and ready to go as well. With Mysterious Guidance, I can get myself Rare Candy Timer Ball and then cross our fingers and hope for a Timer Ball Heads. But I could actually, instead of flying flip, I could just go in with my nine tails here and start sniping with Snowy Wind, 70-30. I could hit into that Rock Rough, which would be super good, or potentially take out that Ditto over there completely. So I'm thinking that Flying Flip is maybe not, well, I don't know. I get the knockout on the Ditto with Flying Flip if I get a Decidueye into play. So definitely some things to consider here. And since I do have the Porygon Z in deck, maybe it's time for me to show that off a little bit. My opponent's going to go in and ram me. We're getting some things with our own Alola Ninetales. So let's go ahead and get it here. We definitely want this, and we definitely want Timer Ball. So let's do that and see if we can spike on either of these Timer Balls. Maybe get some uh, Dartrix action going on. Hey, we'll take it. So we got two of these. I've already got, let's see, do I just go two and then do Rare Candy into Swampert. That's probably the most responsible play. I could just do Rare Candy into Swampert and then evolve into Dartrix. That's like good, but I already have the Decidueye in my hand, so I kind of would be wasting it. Um, but I think we just have to get the Swampert while we're here because that just allows me to have such consistent draw from here on out. So we'll evolve one of these guys and get the Swampert just so that I can continue to turn through my deck. Could definitely have to take the responsible route here and get that. Then do I want to just knock this thing out? Probably. My opponent might play counter gain though, so he may be able to just take a swift knockout on my Ninetales with a Lycanroc GX, which I don't want. So I think I'm just gonna stay the course and flying flip here, and I'm okay doing that. 
That way, uh, I want my opponent to be like ahead on the prizes, right? Like I want uh, him to be ahead at first so that I can make the comeback. I don't want to skip ahead here and play into his counter gain because that could be pretty devastating for me. So I'm thinking I'm going to power draw away Vulpix here and get myself some more stuff. That's probably good, and I have Ultra Ball, so I can get myself another basic Pokemon if I don't draw into one. I can Ultra Ball here for another Dartrix, which is good. I could get rid of the Fairy Energy and Porygon Z, I guess, or I could get rid of the Fairy Energy and Swampert. That's probably fine for a backup Dartrix. I like that, and that way I'm just like ready to go on two Decidueyes next turn for sure. So let's do that. Get a, ooh, I, I would like to get Porygon as well. No, my opponent probably would be like, what in the world is going on with that Porygon? I don't know, let's get the Porygon. That could be fun. That way, you know, keep my opponent guessing. We're going to get the Porygon out and at least threaten Porygon coming out here soon. And then flying flip. So at the very least, if he goes and knocks out my Porygon, I'm really not even mad about it. But if he lets the Porygon stick, then he runs a risk of getting all of his dudes devolved with this initialize ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon, putting the highest stage evolution card into their hand. So that means Porygon uh, would be able to devolve this guy, right, the Weavile, and take that Ditto right out pretty easily. I would be able to knock out these Zeruas fairly fairly easily as well. Now, I don't actually have a ton of ability Pokemon in play right now, just two. So I'm not super scared of the Weavile yet, though it is something to look out for. My opponent's setting up very well. He's got the Macargo in play, Zorark in the active, and should be able to just take a knockout on this Tapu Koko. But the question is, is he gonna go for the Lycanroc play? on any of my bench Pokemon. I think taking out like Dartrix is definitely valid, but the problem that uh, my opponent faces, and I think it might be Eric Gansman, so I think uh, this might be uh, somebody that I know. I was gonna say, the problem he faces is that if he knocks out my Dartrix, he just leaves that Tapu Koko out in the active, which is really not something that he very much wants to do. So let's see what we can do this turn. We've already got our one copy of Decidueye, so that's beautiful. Then we can power draw, or I can Cynthia first. Probably wanna power draw first. I don't necessarily want to get rid of any of this stuff, though. I really like all of it. So I'm thinking I can power draw away a Decidueye because if I, hmm, let's see, don't want to, yeah, I, I think I power draw away the Decidueye. I think that just makes the most sense. I want to save my Acerola in deck for sure. It's just too valuable of a resource. So now I've got a Judge. I know my opponent stacked their deck next last turn, but I think I want to Cynthia and give myself a more powerful draw here off of my supporter for turn. So we're gonna do that, and we've got another Rallet down. So that's fantastic, and we've got our Feather Arrow, so I can snipe something and take a knockout with Snowy Wind. I think I want to get the, uh, the other Zerua could be very valuable and keep you know my opponent from drawing more cards, or I could take out the Rock Ruff too. So I'm thinking the Rock Ruff has got to go down. We'll take that thing out just to keep it so that Eric can't take that knockout on my Porygon. I want to keep the Porygon safe. So we'll just Snowy Wind and knock out that. Put him in harm's way. Now I'm assuming that he wants to go in and like Ace Arola this turn. So that could be kind of tough for me if he's able to Ace Arola and bounce to the other Zerua. And for that reason, potentially, I should have taken out the other Zerua to keep him from using Ace Arola. But also, uh, I did want to get rid of the Rock Rock just because getting Bloodthirsty Eyed here is like not exactly what I'm trying to do. Not 
specific, yeah, here comes Ace of Roll. And that's fine. I was kind of anticipating this, but what we're trying to set up is the Porygon play. I'm really trying to just snipe around and get this thing going. So with him using Ace of Roll, I don't really care. I play Max Potion in my deck. I've got a Guzma as well. I can easily Guzma and then maybe use my GX attack. I mean, I can Hollow Hunt, which could be really good as well. Just buy some more time and get the cards out of my discard pile that I need in order to get this uh, get this Porygon going. I think the slower the game is for me, the better off I am. I've got Porygon Z in my hand, so that's good, but let's power draw here first and see what we end up getting off of that. We'll get rid of the lecture and see three new cards. We've got super boost energy, but I've only got two stage twos in play. Feel like this could be a pretty good opportunity to Guzma and Max Potion and then get some things with my Decidueye back with Hollow Hunt. I really kind of like that play. Think it's a fine option for me, and I could just bring up that mug cargo, honestly, and do that. Feather Arrow, another turn, get some more things going on here. Yeah, let's just do that. We're gonna Guzma up the mug cargo. Go in with the rainbow energy, that's totally fine. And then we will feather arrow one of my opponent's bench Pokemon, probably just uh, the Zoroark there. Oh, we wanna spread the love a little bit. We'll get something on that Zerua there. That's cool. And then I don't necessarily know if I want a max potion quite yet. I think that I might wanna save that for later. So let's see, we probably want Guzma, Timer Ball, Rare Candy uh, out of the deck here. That's probably good. We could Max Potion the benched uh, Ninetales though. That's probably for the best, yeah. Let's just do that. We'll Max Potion that thing. And then that way I can get the Max Potion back as well. So we'll just take our good old time here. Hollow Hunt, let's go get some things. We're gonna get a Max Potion back, a Rare Candy back, and then probably, let's uh, see, I've already got the Porygon out. I could just get a Timer Ball to get another Decidueye into play potentially hitting on that Timer Ball. So I do like that. That probably looks the best to me. I don't necessarily need the double colorless back. I got super boost. I've got plenty of energy in deck. So that's cool. Let's just rock with that for now. So we'll do that. I don't really have too many ability Pokemon in play. Three is like fine with me to be honest because this guy is just a goner as soon as I get that Porygon Z. So just gonna have to hope that Eric does not Guzma the Porygon, but even if he does, that just means he's taking a single prize and not really utilizing, uh, you know, not really doing too much else. Like he's just fine sitting here on the bench. <laughs> I think that Eric would much rather hit into my Decidueye or take out a Rowlet or something like that. Advance his board position in some kind of significant way rather than just taking out the Porygon. Taking out the Porygon is definitely a feel bad. Finally, he has two Zorark in play at the same time now, though, so he will get to double trade, and we know that he can use Magcargo to smooth over, probably into Guzma. So Eric is going to have the opportunity to take out whoever he wants, and yep, sure enough, he's going for the Rowlet instead of the Porygon. He's not really too concerned about that thing, so that's fine with me. I think that this might be the Porygon turn here. We will have two uh, Decidueyes out, probably, if I can hit some heads. And then I'm thinking that we just promote the, let's see, I mean, I could hit with Swampert this turn too. I could do 160 with the Swampert. I don't have Choice Band right now, but 160 could be good. Um, and thinking we just promote Decidueye. I'm actually just okay with that. I mean, ideally we get like counter gain in Rainbow, but that's like a lot to ask, I think. So we'll just promote the Decidueye and go from there. This guy is a Haas and just has a ton of hit points. We got the DCE there, so that's really good as well. Let's go with Timer Ball and see what we end up hitting here. Ahead, so we can get ourselves, uh, let's 
probably want the decidui. Let's get the decidui, and then we desperately want to just power draw into another copy of um, another copy of rare candy here. I think that I'm going to power draw away the Elms lecture, and I like having the Vulpix in my hand just as an option to put down. Unfortunately, we didn't get it though, so I don't think that I necessarily want to devolve all my opponent's Pokemon this turn. I think that we're just going in with the second Decidueye, and we'll devolve later. Like, for now, I'm just cool hitting into him. We'll bench this thing as well so that I have the option to go in with this Ninetales GX. That could be fantastic, but for now, um, let's see, the Weavile is there though, so that is something I have to look out for. I have four Pokemon with abilities in play now, so he could Choice Ban and take a Knockout with the Weavile, which would be pretty devastating. So maybe we have to judge, um, and just to kind of keep my opponent at bay here, uh, could double feather arrow this guy. That's just like not good. We'll probably end up just judging. So let's just go in here and I'm fine just using judge, I think. Though this hand is just very good, uh, except for the fact that I didn't get a rare candy off of that uh, off of that thing there. So it's tough, tough call for sure. Let's just judge. We're gonna go in and judge. Yes, I understand that my hand's smaller. I know that, you know, Eric kinda has his own thing going on in that hand, so that's fine. And then we could just power draw out of this later. So we'll go double feather arrow to knock out that Zerua there, limit his draw options, that's good. Then we, yep, take that. Cool, rescue stretcher is a good card to have right now for sure. I just benched that guy. Yup, all right, and then let's just Razor Leaf for 90. So next turn, if I get the, uh, you know, even if he does take a knockout on this Decidueye and goes down to two prizes, that's tough. Um, I could knock out potentially both of these guys in one go with the Porygon, and then if I get Super Boost, let's see, if I get Super Boost, I could then maybe do a ton of damage to that, uh, this final Zorark as well. Uh, I'm at 190 right now, so with the Decidueye, I could potentially take a one-hit KO on, I mean, if I get Guzma, I could take a knockout on Lele too. So I do have an option to maybe take like multiple prizes this next turn, like four prizes. I could take four prizes in one turn. I would have to get Guzma, I would have to get the, um, I would have to get the energy, the super boost energy, and I would have to get the rare candy. So I would need like very, <laughs> three very specific cards. Arguably, I already have the Guzma with the Tapu Lele here, so I would need, oh, there goes the, uh, there goes that dude. All right, so this is probably bad. I'm probably gonna get knocked out by that Weavile. Nope, we're not. Okay, so he didn't have the choice band that he needed, which is very good. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm ever gonna get to use this poor Porygon over here. I think it would just be the most epic finale, you know, for sure, if I can pull that thing off but it may end up just being not worth the bench space, to be honest, just <laughs> having this Porygon down all game is definitely a little bit of a bummer. See, we got Lecture here. I've got Counter Gain as well. Eric just keeps bumping his Pokemon and healing over and over again. Let's just power draw away the lecture and then see what we draw into here off of that. We got DCE, so it doesn't really help us out all too much. The DCE doesn't do anything for us actually, so we kind of just have to, hmm, we got Counter Gain, I got Rescue Stretcher, but none of these, bringing none of this back actually helps. The Swamper doesn't help, no. Nothing, nothing good is in the discard pile right now. 
So let's see, look at one of your opponent's face down prize cards. That's not gonna help either. I need a fairy energy to go in with nine tails this turn. That would be way better than whatever I'm doing right now. So let's just feather arrow, let's start spreading things out a little bit. I need to take that for sure. And then we could feather arrow and probably hit into one of these dudes that we know is is going to be easier to take out the following turn. Let's just hit into the rock rough in case that thing comes out. Then we could put the double colorless energy down or I could just retreat. Uh, I think I need to do some damage this turn though. So we'll put the DCE onto, I guess, the... Probably the Vulpix, I suppose, just to have that option, that's fine. And then we're just gonna hit. Sure, this is what we got. We need to just raise our leaf here. We didn't get anything too crazy off of the power draw. And I have these Lele's in my hand that I can't play because my bench is jammed. So at this rate, we've got two prizes on Porygon, but then I need to get Guzma and Super Boost in order to take my final prize, but I'm gonna need another stage two as well in the mix. So things are not exactly that easy because the super boost is only gonna go off if I can get the Porygon into play, and I guess the Porygon's part of the equation anyway. So either way, we're gonna need rare candy here. And I know I've got like three rare candies in the deck, but we see Eric just go pal pad the Acerola's back into the deck. So we could anticipate that this Zorark is getting Acerola this turn, which is not good for us. He's gonna be able to go down to two prizes and then have the, uh, you know, the Rockruff potentially be able to take a game-winning knockout or even that Weavile if I have too many uh, GX Pokemon, or too many ability Pokemon in play, that Weavile is definitely trouble too. So I need to get rare candies in hand. And it's just been really unfortunate. We've got three rare candies in deck and only 13 cards left in deck. So my odds of finding one soon are pretty high, uh, honestly. I think that the remainder of the cards in my deck are just pretty good good, to be honest. There's Cynthia's in there, a whole bunch of stuff. So that Zorark's going back up, and I wonder who he'll take the, he'll take the knockout with Weavile, that makes sense. So promote a non-GX, go down to two prizes himself. What I need to do is I need to knock out both this Rock Ruff and this Weavile in the same turn, and that, to be honest, is not that hard for me to do. Uh, if he takes out the Porygon, that's going to be much harder for me to do. But if he leaves the Porygon there, which I assume that he will, then all I need to do is find Rare Candy, and I can take out both the Weavile and that thing probably, eh, maybe in the same turn. We'll see how it goes. So we'll promote the Vulpix. I think that's like the safest thing for me to promote here and just go from there. It's like free retreat, so that free retreat's got an energy on it, so that's fine. We've got Acerola. That's not what I needed. Let's go and power draw. So we'll power draw away a Tapu Lele. I don't think I'm gonna need both of those here and see what we get. There is rare candy. So I've got some things here, but I don't have everything I need. I've got Cynthia, I can devolve this and also that. Uh, I need to get my hands on the uh, nine tails, the other nine tails, the blue one. I desperately need the blue nine tails here. So I'm thinking that we go rare candy into Porygon. Yep, let's just do that, yeah, and then all those guys get devolved. Yes, I wanna do that. So the Weavile's gonna go, and I'm gonna take a prize there, and then the Lycanroc's gonna go as well. This isn't like quite the boom crazy turn that I wanted, but I do get to at least have some fun and take my one knockout. And we've got Ultra Ball, yes, that is very good. So that Ditto's going down, and I can Ultra Ball for my other nine tails and go knock out that Rock Ruff there on the bench. So that's very good too. 
And let's see. Yep, that's probably what we got. So let's Ultra Ball away the Dartrix, probably, and the Lele seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah. And get myself that Nine Tails. So we're going to grab that. And I need to get, let's see, I have my three stage twos in play. So to be honest, I'm like pretty close to winning the game. I just need to win on this, uh, I need to win with Swampert. And I don't think that he really has a lot of other ways to knock me out right now. So we'll gladly just Feather Arrow, I guess, Azurua, or maybe the Tap Lily, Azurua probably. And then we're going to Ice Blade this thing. I don't think that I actually, yeah, benching the Rowlet is good. Cynthia, just to see more cards is probably good. We'll put the counter gain here. And then let's just, yeah, let's see more cards just to have a bigger hand and be able to make more stuff happen next turn. We've already got the Guzma, so that's fantastic. I just need to see the Super Boost Energy, and we should be able to win this game here in style with Porygon Z getting in there. This is pretty nutty here. So we're two to two prizes. Eric, I know he's got Zorax in his hand. He doesn't have an option to Weavile this turn. He can't take a GX knockout this turn for sure because he doesn't have a Rock Ruff in play either. And I have a Swampert who can potentially hit for 190 damage next turn, so long as one of my next four cards in deck is a Super Boost Energy because we've got our uh, three stage twos in, po in play as well. We got a Decidueye, a Swampert, and Porygon Z. So he'll just go for the easy pickings on Rowlet, and then we should have game, so long as I can just get the super boost. If it's the final card in my deck, then that's gonna be just really devastating for me. But I think that I can, you know, I can neutralize whatever sort of other Pokemon he puts down this turn. If he puts down another Rock Ruff, if he does anything like that, I can Guzma and take that knockout either. So I might have another turn here. And he's not getting any more easy picking Pokemon like this. The Porygon Z is the lowest hit point thing that he's gonna have at his disposal to knock out. And that Porygon Z, you know, it's got 130 hit points, so he would need Devoured Field and a full bench and a Guzma in order to take that knockout here. So really close game. I think we got it with the Swampert. I just need to draw into the energy, so let's go. Uh, I'm doing 190 damage. I don't even need to Guzma. Uh, I think, yeah, we're doing 160, Choice Band 190, and the Decidueye but I do have the DC on the nine tail, so he can retreat for free anyways. Let's Ultra Ball thin the deck a little bit. We're gonna get rid of these guys. We definitely don't need those anymore. And yes, so we can thin the deck, guarantee that we have win here with Guzma and Power Draw. I'm just gonna Guzma up this thing, retreat it, and that's gonna be game with the super boost energy. He's gonna scoop, we had it, yes! Oh my gosh, I was gonna power draw, I only had three cards left in deck, one of which was the super boost energy, and we were gonna get there on that Tapu Lele GX with Swampert, so crazy finale there. Able to utilize that Porygon Z as well. Uh, the initialize ability, awesome stuff. So that's the deck, Decidueye, Ninetales, Porygon Z. I really just wanted to win a game with Porygon Z, so that's like mission accomplished as far as I'm concerned. This is the list that I used. I ended up throwing a second Dartrix back into the deck in order to take it easy on our rare candies a little bit since we knew that we were gonna be using our rare candy for the Porygon Z potentially. I got a Tapu Coco in here as well because Flying Flip just works really well with that strategy of wanting to snipe to everything. And other than that, pretty straightforward list. I took the counter catcher out since uh, we're gonna be focusing more on trying to spread and tank than being aggressive with 
nine tails or anything like that and just tried to create a beefy tanky list that could take a lot of hits ace Arola, max potion things like that and then just glance them off and continue plugging away at the opponent until you eventually can use porygon z to kind of wipe your opponent's board so that's the list let me know what do you guys think of decidui gx nine tails porygon z in the comments below thank you all so much for watching the video make sure to like the video sub to the channel ring that bell check out the t-shirts new teespring t-shirts in the comments below and in the description below and make sure also to stay Stay tuned this week for brand new team up tabletop gameplay action. Take it easy. Peace.